What time is it? It's time to learn. Hi YouTubers, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. This time around, we're going to take a look at some of the secrets and some of the new features that are currently in Azure Active Directory. So again, some of this is uh, from a, a various requests that I've had uh, from you guys out there. On a subject of you guys, I cannot thank you enough. Shout out to everybody who's recently signed up to my channel. I am so thrilled and I really, really really do appreciate it. If you haven't, then go ahead, please click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you're guaranteed not to miss out on anything in the future. And I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at some of these cool features. So first up, I'm going to take a look at the preview features in Azure Active Directory. Now, if you've never taken a look at these, definitely have a look because uh, it's really useful. So simply go into the Azure AD portal and it's the second option in the menu and it says preview features. Now, depending on if you're a Microsoft partner or not, some of these may or may not be available to you. Um, but you can see you can simply switch these on or off. Um, Potentially as well, some of these may be invitation only. So again, depending on your status with Microsoft and so on. Alrighty. Um, so once it's switched on, you can then take advantage of these features. Next up, I love this. This is the tile gallery in Azure AD. And again, very, very useful. Simply go into Azure AD right to the top to the dashboard. And if you don't like the way that the dashboard looks, don't worry. You can either clone it, you can edit it, and you can see now it goes into this grid format. And really, really simple. It's just a case of simply dragging and dropping the various elements around. And you can search for an element. Um, and once you've found it uh, again here, I can just simply drag it and drop it into place. Um, very similar to SharePoint web parts, actually. In fact, I'm convinced that's what these are. Um, so again, yeah, and you know, these change all the time. There are more elements coming in um, all the time. <coughs> so again, simply just drag and drop the feature. And once you've dropped it in here, so position it into the uh, place where you want it to go. And then what you can do is you can pop up here to the menu bar and click on the preview option. And if you're happy with that, then of course you can go ahead and save it. And you now have a new menu. So up next, we've got the security defaults. Now, um, this will basically apply a set of baseline security features uh, to your Azure AD tenant. But be warned here, if I go into the uh, properties of my Azure AD, scroll right down to the bottom here, and it says manage security defaults. So in here, um, if you choose to enable the security defaults, it will wipe any conditional access policies that you have. It will bring you back to ground zero. So be very careful with that one. All right. Uh, the third option is something called continuous access evaluation. Again, if you're worried about sensitive users, managers, directors, IT people, and having their uh, credentials compromised, this can be quite useful. And what this does is it continually monitors your users. So once you've enabled the preview, you simply go in and select the group or groups of users. And once you've done that, you'll see in a second, it basically monitors the user's IP address, um, if in fact anything changes, it could indicate that the user's been compromised and it will immediately lock them out. Okay. I love this feature. This is a kind of a, a fallback security feature, which is great. Uh, again, authentication context is a new feature in Azure Active Directory. Also really useful. Um, and again, it ties in with conditional access. So the first thing we do is go into continuous evaluation. 
um, sorry, authentication context, I should say. And the idea of this is it protects the data on a particular device or that a user's using. So essentially what you're saying is the context of the data here is very sensitive. So I'm just going to create a category here called North Norway Authorized, and I'm going to say Publish to Apps. So you can basically, when you're working with an app, you can specify, look, any data that runs through this, the context of that data is essentially sensitive. Now, once you've uh, created that category, I can now simply go back into my conditional access policy. And um, obviously we've set a user and a group here. I simply go into cloud apps and rather than choosing a cloud app, I click on the drop down arrow and hey, look, authentication context is there. So I can now create a conditional access policy based on that uh, context. All right. So I simply select the checkbox. And as usual, I would now go off and set up my various conditions regarding the device, regarding the location, uh, and so on. And once you've configured that, you can then say, okay, are they going to get access? Do they require MFA, multi-factor authentication, and so on. All right. So this is a really nice uh, and actually very powerful feature. So context-based um, policies, okay? And that really extends that capability to protect your corporate data uh, within apps. Alrighty. So up next, um, authentication methods. So gone are the days when we just simply log in using usernames and passwords. I'm sure you're all aware of Microsoft's um, approach to passwordless authentication. Um, so we can simply go into authentication methods in the security blade here. And you can see that we now have a, a selection of various methods to authenticate with. So everything from a FIDO key to my, the Microsoft Authenticator app uh, to, to a temporary access pass if you needed to issue one. And I've done videos on that uh, previously. So the password, other, other thing it looks at here as well is password protection. So this is really nice. And also it's got some very powerful monitoring features here as well, which gives you um, reports of users activity and how they're logging in. Are they using FIDO? Are they using MFA? Are they using just usernames and passwords and so on? So a lot of people underestimate this. So definitely take a look at authentication methods. Very, very useful uh, indeed. Okay, right. So up next in uh, our journey into Azure AD, a uh, little bit more reporting. This is insights and reporting. Again, really powerful feature here. So um, I'm going to come down into insights and our usage insights here. What this does is it gives the administrators a real insight into how um, applications are being used in the organization. So, um, you know, what are your most popular applications? Um, are there any users having issues? And again, you, you have this nice rep usage report. So what are your most popular apps? You know, are you making best use of licensing and so on? And you can see it gives me a, a rundown of how many users are actually using these apps and how many licenses have been issued. And more than that, it also tells me it integrates with things like on-premises as well. So things like Azure Active Directory Federation services, uh, ADFS, it can fully integrate with that. And then finally, you also get the authentication uh, activity. So again, who are your heaviest users? How are your users authenticating and so on? Okay. So next, we, I love this feature. This is the virtual assistant. Um, how many times have we called support and waited on the line forever? I'm sure we're all familiar with the 
concept of AI generated virtual assistants. Well, now we have one in Microsoft 365 and also in Azure AD. So if I type in something simple here, like uh, how do I set up Azure AD Connect uh, with a question mark, hit enter, and the AI will then take over um, and the bot will come back and say, hey, you know, this is what I found. Um, there's some articles here. There's maybe a tutorial that will help you. Um, but the fact is you don't need to go off and call support. Um, so again, very powerful feature. And uh, again, if it, if it doesn't work for you, then you can also say, no, this wasn't helpful and actually speak to somebody in support. So there you have it, some of the secrets behind Azure Active Directory and some of the cool features that have uh, not long been released. I really hope that you found that useful. And as always, if you have any questions, get them down below and I will do my absolute best to answer them. And always, uh, please feel free to go ahead and click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you're guaranteed not to miss out on any future and exciting posts that I have. Okay, so you stay safe and take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell, and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.